What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my Resident Evil 4 remake walkthrough gameplay series. We are just about to enter chapter 10. So let's just jump straight into it, shall we? Here we go. Sorry, nothing yet. But my little helper is creating quite the commotion. Everything will work out just fine. As long as you can keep your dog under control. He's a good boy. Predictable. Fine. Keep your mutt. But don't come crying to me if you get bit. Leon, changed your mind yet? Ada? Assuming you haven't, I've got a tip for you. Seems like something big is about to go down in the throne room. Babysitting's tough, huh? Hey, Ada. Ada! <sighs> ah, Ada. She's such a tease. Oh well. Chapter 10, here we go. So, we start by picking up these, these things right here. These are the things we picked up with um, Ashley in the previous episode and here we have our next merchant's request so we need to kill a specific knight and uh, we pretty much need to go, go all the way back down but before we do that we'll go through here and kill our next rat well the final rat for the merchant's request we had, more pest control complete. There you go. So from here, we'll continue down, and if you guys remember in the previous episode, well, previous chapter, if you guys have seen it, uh, there was a golden knight. That's the knight we need to kill. Let me just make some room here for whatever, and uh, yeah, let's do this. All the way down. We'll take the lift. So there's a couple of things we can grab here once we've... Uh, well, we can do it now, but we'll do that once we have de dealt with the, the Golden Knight. Uh, we do have a new weapon coming up as well. Here we go. There you are. Catch now. Another one. That didn't even do any damage. What the hell? There you go. Why isn't it working? Hold on. There you go. Oh my god, I'm throwing flashbangs. Oh, I'm so stupid. Never mind. We'll save the last <laughs> few uh, flashbangs we have. Oh shit! Hold on. Yeah, this guy is a little tougher since the parasite is on its back. Um, hey, I can just keep on shooting, I guess. There you go. Merciless Knight complete. We'll grab everything here. Sapphire, yellow, gem, ruby. Sorry, yellow diamond. Um, I'm sure there's something else here. Not a collectible, but we do have a couple of these we can break to get some more ammo and pesetas. Pesetas. A lot of pesetas. I love that. Since I do believe that we can fully upgrade the Blacktail in this chapter. And maybe get um, the exclusive upgrade as well. So, yeah. Um, 
anyway, we'll continue. And from here, grab two more treasure. Well, one weapon and one treasure, really. We'll start with the treasure, I think. Yeah. Uh, we need to go all the way back to where Ashley opened up that gate for us by the end of the previous chapter. And I believe it is... Um, yeah, this way. Over here. Uh, here we go. We'll use this cube. And here we get... Another treasure we can sell. The Golden Lynx. I believe you can put on some gems on that as well, by the way, so don't just sell it. Increase the value first. Alright, from here, uh, we'll go to where Ashley found those keys in the previous chapter. In that staircase, we can use that cube one more time. Uh, this way, yeah. Through here. We'll just ignore these knights. And here is the secret secret weapon. Uh, oh, wrong. Sorry. There we go. So yeah, it's an assault rifle. I'm not a huge fan of the assault rifles. Um, I'll probably just send that to the storage. Maybe we'll sell it. Uh, I might save it for a specific little thing in a couple of chapters. It's for a trophy. But yeah, we'll see. But from here, we continue back all the way the way we came from. We're here, yeah? Yes. And, uh, yeah, let's progress into the chapter. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. All right. We have a new type of enemy here. These bugs. And for you guys who have been following me for quite some time, you guys already know that I hate, seriously hate the bugs in Resident Evil games. They can be a complete nightmare. These aren't that bad, just shoot them once or twice and they die, but... When it comes to bugs, there is, I believe it is in Resident Evil 5, a specific bug that really is such a pain. Uh, it's some kind of a cockroach that can pretty much instant kill you. That's where it all started pretty much <laughs> for me when it comes to these <laughs> annoying things, but yeah... Let's see. There's not. Oh, yeah, this room. We are about to have some fun. Fantastic. In here, I believe there is a bug's nest or something because there is endless of these flying things in this area so pretty much just shoot and move here i wouldn't do anything else really there's no point for me actually killing every single one of these since there are so many yeah we'll manage somehow we'll yeah there's two treasures in this little area 
These guys really like to camouflage as well, so be careful. I'll grab this. Just die. Thank you. Um, okay. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are interested in checking out the previous episode, or perhaps from the beginning of this series, since this is a 100% walkthrough, uh, there will be a full playlist down below in the description. Check it out! And uh, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe! Turn on those notifications by hitting that bell icon so that you get notified each time I upload a new Resident Evil 4 video. Oh shit. Perfect timing, huh? Oh, I really need to take a look at the aim settings, by the way. Anyway, here is the treasure, another ruby, fantastic, and uh, hold on, let me see if we can go there. There's one more treasure in this little area. Let me just clear out a couple of these annoying things. I really don't like these. They can really gang up on you if you're not careful, so yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. See? Raining down. But yeah, over here is our next collectible. Well, treasure. Just. Exactly, give me a break already. God damn it, man. <laughs> uh, really? Oh, you're so annoying. All right, over here. So this is an Ornate Beetle. We can sell that later at the merchant. We need to find one more switch, and it's on the other side. We need to go to that staircase over there. Let me just find a quick way over there. Uh, yeah, I believe it's through here. Shouldn't be that many enemies left, by the way. At least I hope not. <laughs> There's two of them. One down. And perfect. There we go. Now let me just get rid of these that are around me and we'll just run right past everything else. They actually give out quite nice... Some of them give out nice uh, gems, actually. I believe it is sapphires or something like that. If you're lucky. It's a random drop. Oh well. Uh, let's move on. Really? Come on. Yep, 
Yeah, let's ignore everything else now. Let's just go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold up. We need to... Oh yeah, we need to go to the side to be able to shoot the other thing. Over here. There we go, and... Right here. Nice. So, uh, this next area is one of the most dangerous places in the entire game, if you ask me. Um, we are about to fight two of these! At the same time. And multiple other enemies as well. So they're actually quite easy if you're alone, but, you know, they react to sound, so you need to take care of the other enemies, and yeah, they'll come straight for you. Like this, for example. Shit. Let me just heal up. So there's a couple of bells in this area. Uh, we'll use them later for, you know, luring the enemy over there, and then we'll just demolish them with shit, 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 uh, with um, the magnum or something. Alright, let's be careful. Go there. Oh no, oh well. Yeah, this is not good. That's one. I would. I was hoping for you know both of them to get back to that little corner, but oh well. Really, bro. Uh, we could use a grenade, but I don't really feel like wasting anymore. Since I do want, well, I do need a grenade for a specific trophy later on. Shit! This is not good. Alright, you know what? Get to that bell. Thank you. It's time to finish this. They're both stuck, and now just demolish them both. Again, this Magnum is so powerful. If it's fully upgraded, it's even better. But yeah, we're done here. Um, we get the, both of these unicorn horns that we need. Uh huh. Let me just create some space. Right. This should work. Yeah. Stop spawning, please. They're actually quite annoying now. Yeah, we don't really need the bolts. I honestly don't think we'll ever use that gun, so... The bolt uh, thrower, so... Ah, uh, really? Yeah, I'm more of a, you know, rifle slash shotgun kind of guy. Uh, do have this. Thank you. Okay. I think we're done here. Let's go.
Seriously. Leon, stop! No, don't come any closer. Are you hurt? Watch out! Please, do continue. Do not resist, my dear. It serves only to make you suffer. All the worse. Please, please. <laughs> you sick. <laughs> 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 nos despedimos, Señor Kennedy. Hang in there, Ashley. I'm coming for you. All right, now we need to make our way back to the surface. And that is not going to be easy. Since this little area right here is crawling with those bugs. And they're actually swimming <laughs> underwater, yeah. Not sure how, but they are. Talk about sticking the landing. Come on. Uh, yeah, let's go. This way. Keep a lookout for green eyes. That's the first hint. There we go. Did you see that? Yeah, that's a hint that we're not alone. <laughs> I need to try and not spoil too much for you. But yeah, these guys are actually quite difficult once they're underwater. I really do apologize if you guys are hearing this in the background. Oh shit. Um, it's one of my cats. They're, I'm not sure what they're doing. But it's really annoying. Uh, oh, here we go. We got a sapphire. Nice. All right. If we drop down here, we'll see. Oh my god, it's really pissing me off now. You guys really have to hear this. I mean, it's impossible for you guys not to hear that. <laughs> oh man. I'm not sure what it is, you know. My cats sleep all day, but as soon as I start recording, they actually have to make sounds all around me, just to piss me off. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah. Well, at least you're getting a nice example on how these bugs can be annoying as they are, you know. You can't really hit them until they're really close to you. That's the main problem with these. See? Oh, close. Yeah, alright. So, if we go up here... Oh, a black bass. Out of nowhere. Here's our next treasure. Elegant crown. And this little thing is... 
a really important uh, little treasure since uh, if you do use it properly and sell it with gems on you should get a nice little trophy uh, since you know there's a trophy for getting well selling an item for over a hundred thousand pesetas i believe so yeah uh, we can mix these two together really nice uh, I'm not sure what the right combination is though, but yeah, now you know, that's the thing you need for that trophy. Shit. Oh, give me a break. And I believe up here somewhere there should be another ruby. Uh, yeah. Not here. Very nice, red barrel. Oh yeah, you need the yellow two, I believe it is three red barrels and two yellow diamonds for that perfect combination to get over a hundred thousand. All right, let me just turn in everything here and sell a couple of things at the merchant and I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, we do have two of these to turn in. All right, once we leave the merchant, uh, there should actually be a little statue in here. Yeah, right there. There we go. Um, that's 10 out of 16. Very nice indeed. So, uh, for this final little area of this chapter... Um, we're going to have real fun. I'm not going to spoil anything for you until it's happening. So let's just keep on moving. But yeah, we do have two more collectibles pretty much. In this area. Magnum ammo could be useful. Very nice. I'm sure most of you guys know what's coming. I mean, it's a remake after all. Something wrong with the power? Yeah, we need to turn on the power to get this elevator going. Rifle ammo. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, we're not alone. Um... So let's just go all the way back into this area and turn on the power. And that should get things started. It's not in here? What the hell? Hold up. Uh, might as well take a look around. Uh, ah, here we go. That should kickstart things. Uh, let's go that way first. I believe there is another switch we need to push. Never mind. There we go. Oh, you kidding me? Can you guess what that is? Yeah, it's one of those things that, um, well, we're following uh, Salazar. So, now that the power is restored, let's... Well, we got two options. I prefer option number one, and that's to avoid that thing at all costs. Um, yeah, Ram Ramon Zalazar's lapdog. Or, kill it. And if we do kill it, we get a trophy for it. So that's what we're going for. But we do need to freeze it first to be able to, I, at least I think, to be able to do some damage to it. So, I'm gonna just open up this. Um, and try to lure it in into a couple of more traps. So hopefully this shouldn't take that long. But, 
on the more difficult um, difficulties, like you know, hardcore and professional, I would say that if you don't have a rocket launcher, just avoid it. Run around until that elevator comes down. Uh, that's the best option you, you got. Since whoa. I thought it dodged it. What the hell? But yeah, there's the, the treasure, by the way, that we just picked up. The final treasure is actually a drop from that thing once we, we kill it, so... Yeah. Um, the fun thing about this is that this thing is smart as hell as well. It doesn't necessarily run into the traps. Uh, push this, come on. Come on. See? Of course. Just stands there and turns around and walks away. So annoying. Um, but yeah, again. In my personal opinion, this chapter... Shit. Specific, specifically this little thing right here. Um, the Verdugo, I believe they're called. Um, they are really no, not fun at all to play around with. See? Uh, I might as well eat this fish. There we go. Full health. Can you just come here, please? I do not feel like running around like a moron. Come on. Just one time. I think we can actually kill it if we freeze it at least one more time. Maybe two more times. Tops. Oh, ho, ho! where the hell did you come from, dude? It really keeps you on your toes as well. See? Oh my god, you're so ugly. This way, come on. Do not piss me off, just walk right into it. Maybe not. Oh my god. And now this thing needs to recharge, of course. See what I mean when I said that it's actually quite smart? It just doesn't follow you around, but it tries to, you know, corner you, surprise you. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's dumb. My bad. Oh no. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, ah. Uh, this is probably going to be the only time I actually fight this thing. <laughs> I really don't feel like doing this dance one more time. Alright, one more freeze should do it. We'll just go all out with the shotgun. Come on, man. And we'll go this way. Ah, there we go. That's the elevator, see? You actually have a lot of time you need to kill before that elevator gets here. Shit. Okay, how about this? Come on, follow me. Yeah. I'll just go all out. If you have grenades, use them. And there we go. That should give you a trophy. And here's the last treasure as well. The gold monocle. For this little chapter. Now we just need to get to the elevator. And uh, that's it.
pitiful little lamb. Your suffering can end, just as it has for our newest daughter. Who has joined us in communion, and now she is of our flesh, of our blood. My faithful disciple will show her the path. Go now. Deliver to these vagrant children their salvation. As you wish. I'll make it cheap for you. Okay, chapter end. So that's chapter 10 done. And uh, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments on what you guys think about this series so far. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, take care. Peace. Bye for now.